I've been a D Star user for a for several years now. And what I'm about to tell you has changed my life as far as the D Star world. This time on K6 UDA Radio. <laughs> Gentlemen, for this, uh, for this segment here, I definitely need a little help. I'm going to call upon uh, my friend, Wendy. Seriously? I'm on a date in Cancun right now. You want me to do a radio show? All right. Okay, I'll do it by myself. I'm so excited. She can go back to Cancun. Most of us, uh, you know, we buy our D-Star radio and it comes, you know, pretty pre-packaged with all the reflectors, all the REF reflectors, which are D+, plus, and, uh, and it is done through the, uh, through the D-Star Trust. And everybody kind of understands that. There's a few of them that are fairly active at least here in the U.S. Uh, one Charlie is an international. Um, 30 Charlie is back east, and that is pretty popular both here and, uh, and abroad, uh, especially in the U.K. And, and like Ireland coming into, uh, into the U.S. Out here on the West Coast, 14 Charlie is kind of the go-to deal here, but it's not really that active. Using my open spot, I recently uh, clicked into the XRF reflector and uh, plugged into XRF002 Alpha. And I was absolutely astonished by this thing. XRF reflectors are an open source reflector and uh, I'll put some links up here and in the description below so you guys could try these things out yourself. But uh, incredible. Uh, they have what are called constellations, which are several of these reflectors that get grouped together. And so if I'm on, say, 002 Alpha, I'm being heard on five other reflectors and then on some nets because it's open source, they bridge this stuff onto a DMR talk group. So <laughs> literally now DMR and DSTAR are talking to each other. And it doesn't matter if you're on a DMR radio it does, or you're on a, uh, or a, on a DSTAR radio. Say for instance, uh, you're into power sports and you want to talk about everything power sports from mo adventure motorcycles to any other kind of motorcycles, dirt bikes, ATVs, four-wheelers, uh, rock crawlers, snowmobiles. Tuesday night at, uh, let's see, it is 1900 hours central time. You could find on uh, XRF 555 Alpha, and it is also linked to XRF002 Alpha, XRF310 Alpha, XLX313, and Talk Group 4001. How's that for, uh, for a whole bunch of places that you can go and talk about your favorite power sports? And I'll tell you what, man, they talk about everything from where to ride to what to wear, how to fix your how to fix your machine, all kinds of cool stuff there. Are you a QRP guy? Well, there is a QRP ham radio net for amateurs around the world. This one is Monday nights, uh, 1900 hours Pacific time. Hit that one up on XRF002 Alpha, 310 Alpha, 555 Alpha, because they're all linked. And again, uh, DMR Talk Group 4001. 
truckers, travelers, and RV net uh, on Wednesday nights, 1900 hours central time again, on the big constellation. Uh, they talk about everything having to do with travel. I, I mean, it is kind of where to camp for free, uh, as far as, you know, truckers, all kinds of trucker issues, RV issues, uh, how to winterize your rig, uh, where to camp, fixing things, everything under the sun for, uh, for RVs and travelers. For you, uh, for you boys up north in the great white north. Uh, Friday night, 2100 hours Eastern time on XRF 021 Bravo, XRF 905 Bravo, plus uh, additional XRFs that are linked up to the 905 dashboard. Uh, they've got a net for you guys, but I'm sure they probably don't care if uh, a couple of us Yankees joined in every once in a while, talk about guns. And then on Thursday nights, 1900 hours Pacific time is the D star round table. And this is a net on these, uh, on the same constellation, 002 alpha, uh, 310, 555 and talk group 4001 DMR, everything, uh, D star. And these guys, this is an open source deal. So instead of being very tightly controlled like the D plus reflectors are, they encourage all of us to experiment and, you know, work on new and emerging technologies and bridging and just all kinds of stuff that goes, frankly, way over my head, but I'm sure a lot of you guys uh, would be interested I'm real interested in, in learning about this stuff. Brand new technologies that they're coming out with, all kinds of cool stuff. These are just on the nets. And there are a ton of XRF reflectors. Literally, if you want to start a reflector and you wanna, you wanna have it gravitate toward a certain topic or whatever, you know, as far as these guys are concerned, feel free. You want to host it on an Amazon or a Google uh, web server, go ahead. They don't care. These XRF reflectors are located all over the world. I've seen them here, Canada, Italy. Um, there's different clubs that are sponsoring reflectors, their own reflectors. So the list is kind of infinite. I mean, it can go wherever it goes. Uh, the XRF side, the XLX side is pretty much, it's kind of in its infancy. So as we get into it, as more of us get into it, um, it gets, it, it's going to grow. Now you're going to have to freeform enter the XRF 00 or, you know, XRF 555 alpha into your uh, D star radio. If the repeater you're on will allow you to, uh, to link to an XR, XRF reflector. The easiest way I've found to do it is on my open spot. You just go into the connectors tab and you pick an XRF reflector from the tab, click on it, bam, you're there. I have had some incredible conversations about everything from flight simulators, uh, motorcycles, ham radio stuff, the weather, and how all the XRF stuff is put together with an incredible amount of guys that are so knowledgeable and so friendly. Uh, it is, wow, just absolutely changed the way I look at D star and it has really opened up a whole new D star for me. And it, and with this 
getting in with, uh, with a DMR talk group there, it's really starting to make that bridge between, you know, the D-Star guys and the DMR guys. So now it's getting to be, and this is what I really envision in the future, is it doesn't matter what kind of a radio you're playing on, we're all going to be able to talk to each other at some point in certain locations. We just got to put this together and make it work. And I know we can. Anyway, guys, um, I am real excited about it. I hope that you will uh, give this a shot. The XRF reflectors on D-Star. Uh, give it a shot. That's all I got. I'm Bob, K6UDA73. I'm gone.